ಚಕ್ಷುರನ್ಮಿಲಿತೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದಾಮಯ್ಯ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತಿ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪಂ ಸಾಗರ ಜಾತ ಸಹ ಗಣ ರಘುನಾಥಾಂಬಿತ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವದೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪದ ಸಹ ಗಣ ಲಲಿತಾ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾಮೃತಾಂಶ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣಿ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನ ಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಪಾನು ವೃಷಭಾನು ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯೆ ವಾಂಚಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರೂಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯೇವತೀತೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಟು ಸನಾತನ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಡೇ ವಿ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಫಸ್ ದ overview uh, of chapter 23 and then we went into first eight verses uh this was the this was the first uh, mangala charan verse and then after practicing avidhaya now hear about prayojan and just by hearing also you get bhakti rasa gyan you get bhakti rasa gyan and yesterday we saw uh, when that rati becomes attraction becomes very intense god then it is praying it is in the form of a seed which is called as bhava and that is thai bhav so we saw here the concept of thai bhav which will again further see further we will go into the verses where all these definitions will come yesterday we saw the thai bhav the permanent definition then we saw the definition of uh, bhava bhakti the two characteristics the primary and the secondary characteristics then we saw the definition of prema bhakti the scriptural proof for it and then the stages of bhakti how the bhagyavan ji receives shraddha and then sadhu sangha and then shravan kirtan there is anand nirvati and there is nishta ruchi asakti bhav and prema and proper in the first part makes it very clear it's a gradual process and that initial fortune the mishra is bhakti is mishra it is not pure devotion says only when we attain purna shraddha then we take up to ananya bhakti then we associate with sadhus to practice ananya bhakti and that will further lead to all these stages so yesterday we saw that in the first part also Mm-hmm. and this this is that verse from the bhakti rasamrit sindhu and this is the scripture reference satam prasangan and we saw vishana chakravarti's commentary anupamishati shraddha rati bhakti anupamishati shraddha here is asakti rati bhava bhakti is prem 
and here the anurt nivritti nishta ruchi and asakti stages are you know, step by step explained we saw yesterday krishna chakrat mukhis commentary on this now today we will uh, uh, go into this next theme from verses 17 to 38 the nine symptoms of bhava bhakti and their characteristics so, so let us go through this now bhava bhakti uh, we saw the definition rishi chitta marshinya uh, the vikars manifest tears coming from the eyes and there is hair standing on end there is occupation there is ordering of voice <clears throat> so all these ecstatic emotions are involuntary emotions remember satviki means involuntary emotions they naturally spring from the shuddha sattva platform <clears throat> But uh, anubhavas are voluntary emotions. Because there is love in the heart, when Mother Yashoda sees Krishna is coming after raising from the forest, this is the time after the Goduli, her heart is filled with love for Krishna and to welcome Krishna, she opens her arms to embrace Krishna. So this uh, uh, voluntary action of opening the arms is a sign of love. So these are called as anubhavas, but the sattviki bhavas are involuntary. But it can be seen that uh, these uh, can be imitated. Tears coming from the eyes while chanting. <clears throat> you know, in the films, you know, hero and heroine, you know, they, even though they are not feeling like crying, but because of the scene, they will cry. So similarly, these, these external symptoms uh, can be imitated. But the real symptoms of Bhava Bhakti, which cannot be imitated, are these nine symptoms. And what are these symptoms? What are these characteristics? Mahaprabhu is going to explain and he is going to give scriptural quotations for each of these. This can never be imitated artificially. So let us now today uh, go into these uh, nine symptoms of Bhava Okay, text uh, 17. Yahara Ridaya Eya Bhava Ankura Hoy Tahate Ikete Chin Sarva Shastra Kohar. If one actually has the seed of transcendental emotion in his heart, Bhava Ankura Hoy Ridaya A. Yahar, one who has the symptoms, chin will be visible in his activities. That is the verdict of all revealed scriptures. Sarva Shastra Kahe, Tahato Ekata Chinna. So, what are the chinnas? Let us see. Please, you also can uh, see whether we have these symptoms so that we can come to know that we are at Baha Bhakti. <laughs> so, let us see. There are nine. And this is a co verse from the Bhakti Rasamrit. Similarly, Shanti Ravyatta Kalatvam Virakti Ramana Shunyata Asha Bhanda Samutkanta Name Gane Sadaruchi Asakti Stad Guna Khyane Preeti Stad Vasati Sale Ityadayo Nubhavasu when the seed of ecstatic emotion for Krishna fructifies, bhava jata jata means born or fructifies, bhava purjan, the following nine symptoms manifest in one's behavior shanti, forgiveness, avrit kalatvam, concern that time should not be wasted, virakti. Detachment. Virakti is detachment. Absence of false prestige. Vaan shunyata. Oh, asha bandha. Eagerness. Samutkanta. A taste for chanting the holy name of the Lord. Name gane sadarchi. Attachment to the descriptions of the transcendental qualities of the Lord. Asakti is tadagunakhyanim. She is always doing Krishna Kata. 
and affection for those places where the Lord resides. Preeti Star Vasati Salehi. That is a temple or a holy place like in Proper Prophecy, you know, he gives a deep explanation. Even the temple is Vrindavan. We have to be in Vrindavan consciousness also to realize the temple is Vrindavan. These are called Anubhava, subordinate signs of ecstatic emotion. These are visible in a person in whose heart the seed of the love of God has given to the heart. So these are the uh, symptoms by which we can understand. Okay. Prabhupada, just the purpose says that it's, these are the two verses from Bhakti Rasam, that's really from the Bhava Bhakti Eastern Division, that is one, Bhava Bhakti, Chapter 3, Third Division, Third Wave, sorry, verses 25, 26. Einava Pratyam Kuryanra Chitpahoy Prakriti Shobe Tandra Shobanoy Hoy. If love for Krishna in a speedling state, Remember, love for Krishna is still now in an Ankuru. It does not have fructified. It is just grown as a seed, has fructified in one's heart. Chitte, Yandra Chitte, oil, one is not agitated by material points. Now, I want devotees, uh, I don't know whether you are able to see the screen, uh, which among the Nine, there are nine Shanti, Ragar, Kalakram, Virakti, Manishunata, Asha, Bandha, Samukanta, Namadari. Which one is this referring to? That one is not agitated by material things. Anyone knows? Which one this is referring to? Which among the nine qualities, nine symptoms? I have mentioned that, I should have not mentioned it because when I want us devotees to think of which one is being mentioned. He's not agitated by any material things. Yes, uh, it is Shanti. How it is Shanti? Murada Yamataji, how it is Shanti? Please explain us. Uh, <clears throat> in Shanti stage, one do not get agitated by uh, like uh, happiness or distress, and uh, we can say man, apman, like this. So one remains uh, stable uh, in controversies or dualities. We can say uh, he stays away from from the dwandva. Okay. Okay. Any other thoughts? Any other devotees would like to share how that Shanti forgiveness uh, is actually uh, not being agitated by material things? How do you relate that? Any other thoughts anyone has? I would like devotees to share their thoughts about this. It's very important for us to understand. Anyone else would like to share? Virendra Yadav Prabhuji, what are your thoughts about this? Hare Krishna Prabhu Dandutra. Prabhu, I think it is the uh, absence of false prestige. Absence of, that is Manishunyata. That is the next symptom. And, uh, and of, of course, detachment also, Prabhu. Detachment to Yes, these two, I feel cave. No, detachment is already you know, mentioned as a Virakti, you said detachment is there, and then there is um, uh, Virakti is detachment. Manishuddha yes. is free from false questions. So it's a separate quality in itself. So how this one, forgiveness, or uh, you know, here it is mentioned, one is not agitated by material things. Any reference you can give me from the Gita of this? Anyone would like to give any reference? Spark, Sarki, Prabhuji, yes. Yes, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Dabdath Pradhaf, Prabhuji. 
there is a verse sitoshna shukh sukh dukkha da jitatmana prashantasya paramatma samayita sitoshna sukh dukkha pata mana apamana okay that generally can apply but specific verse i want there are two verses in the gita which you can quote specific to this you know in this statement of chaitan charitamrita one is not agitated by medieval things of course uh, scriptural quotation as a reference will be given from the bhagavatam but shanti i wanted a you know some deeper understanding of shanti yes mataji matra sparshastu kanteya shitoshna sukha dukha that's a big thing okay so firstly i would like to take this verse uh, from the gita shreyo hi gyanam abhyasad jnana dhyanam vishishtate jnana karma phala tyagas tyaga shanti anantaram shanti vadas kam now please remember shanti here is peace and uh, we will not go to the analysis of this verse but basically uh, this refers to that uh, vishnu chakra thakur gives an understanding that uh, karma phala tyaga means the desire for mukti and mukti is completely is free at the stage of bhava bhakti there is no desire for mukti and mukti he has realized his spiritual identity so he is not at all disturbed by any material thing because he is a non transcendental platform so karma phala tyaga here actually refers to becoming desire from the desire for mukti and mukti completely that's why one of the symptoms of bhava bhakti is moksha lagna and then shanti because he has become free from that desires that is why he has attained shanti and that's a verse also so another verse in the gita which we can uh, clearly you know point out is 6.2223 yatro paramate chittam niruddham yoga sevaya yatr chaivatmana atmanam pashyan atmani tushati pashyan means now he is seeing the self and is in bliss then sukham atyantikam yatra he is experiencing transcendental happiness buddhi grayam atyantikam vyakti yatrana chaivam sukhas chalati tapata now he is not at all agitated by any material things यम लब्वा चापरम लाभम मन्यते नाधिकम ततम यस्मिन सितो न दुखेन गुरुनापि विचारते इवन डेथ कम्स टू हिम ही इज नॉट एजिटेटेड दिस इज हाउ अ योगी हैज अटेंड परफेक्शन दे आल्सो एक्सपीरियंस देयर शांति बट फ्रॉम अ डिवोशनल पर्सपेक्टिव दिस 12.12 सॉरी 12. या 12.12 इज मोर एप्ट सो नो मटेरियल थिंग एजिटेट्स हिम दैट इज द पॉइंट हियर शांति so let us see now and this is the verse given as a scriptural proof for shanti tammo payatam pari pratiyant vipra ganga cha devi rita chitta minshe vijopak vijopak vijopashishta uhakas takshako va asto palam gayat Vishnu Dhaka, O Brahmanas, just accept me as a completely surrendered soul. Tam mo paya tam pratiyantu, and let Mother Ganges, the representative of the Lord, also accept me in that way. For I have already taken the lotus feet of the Lord into my heart. Ganga je cha devi cha, rita chitta mishe. In my chitta, Lord is situated and fixed my the Lord in my heart. Let the snake bird or whatever magical thing the Brahmana created, vijo prasha tu hoga saksho kava. Bite me at once, prasaktu alam. I only desire that you all continue singing the deeds of Lord Vishnu. Gaya ta Vishnu gaata. So. Parikshit Maharaj was not at all afraid of death. That was a point made, you know, Shubha, Shubha, nahi hoy. Prakriti Shubha, Tanra Shubha nahi hoy. He is not agitated. So that is a 
thing which can highest agitate. And Parikshit Maharaj was not at all agitated. This is one of the symptoms of Shanti. This is a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam spoken by Maharaj Parikshit while he was sitting on the bank of the Ganges expecting to be bitten by a snake bird summoned by the curse of a Brahmana boy named Shingi who was the son of a brave sage named Shamika. The news of the curse was conveyed to the king who prepared for his imminent death. Many great saintly persons, sages, brahmanas, kings and demigods came to see him in his last days. Maharaj Parishat, however, was not at all afraid of being bitten by the snake bird. Indeed, he requested all the great personalities assembled to continue chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna. So this is the scriptural proof for Shanti. Next. Krishna Sammandha Vina Kala Vyartha Nahiyaya not a moment should be lost. Every moment should be utilized for Krishna or connected with Krishna. So this is one of the symptoms of one who is, you know, on the bhava stage. Prabhupada, Maharaj Parishat's expression of anxiety is explained in this verse. He says, let whatever what is this time to happen take place? It doesn't matter. Just let me see that not a moment of my time is wasted without the relationship with Krishna. So Maharaj uh, Parishit was not preparing for his death by assembling a huge army and doing all sorts of arrangements like Kamsa, what he was doing. <laughs> you know, he was sending all the asuras you know, so that he can avoid death. And last when Krishna came to Matra also, he had made huge plans. So there was no plan making. He said, let not even a moment be wasted without thinking about Krishna. So this is a continuation of the previous words quoted only. Prabhupada is giving explanation. One has to tolerate all obstacles on the path of Krishna consciousness and one has to see that not a moment of his life is wasted outside of Krishna's service. Now, this is the scriptural reference for Avyartha Kalakam. Bhagavi Suvanto Manasa Smaranta Tanvana Manto Panisham Nadripta Bhakta Shravan Netrajala Samagram Ayur Hare Eva Samarpayanti Vidya words Bhagavi. They offer praise to the Lord. Suvanto. With their minds, they always remember the Lord's manasas maranta. With their bodies, they offer obeisances to the Lord. Tanva namanto apya. Despite all these activities, they are still not satisfied. Nisham na triptaha. This is the nature of pure devotees. Shedding tears from their eyes. Bhakta shravan netra jala. They dedicate their whole lives to the power service. Samagram, Harer, Ayu, Harer, Eva, Samarpayanti. So, the difference between a Kanishna Dikari and a Mahabhagavat or a Uttama Dikari is that a Kanishna Dikari, even for a moment he remembers in a day, for a moment he remembers Krishna, he thinks he's very advanced. But a Mahabhagavat, even for a moment he forgets Krishna, he considers himself he is very fallen. Hmm, that's the difference. Okay. Bhukti Siddhi Niryartha Tara Nahi Bhoy. In the material field, people are interested in material enjoyment, mystic power, and sense gratification. But these things do not appeal to a devotee at all. So, this is Virakti. Now, scriptural code for Virakti. Yo dustajan dhar sutan suridrajam ridi prasha jaho yuev malavad uttama shloka lalasa. King Bharat was very eager to attain the association of Supreme Purta later called it Uttama Shloka Lalasa. Who is called Uttam Shloka because poems and prayers are offered to him for its favor. In his youth, you were, King Bharat gave up his attractive wife, Juha, and children, as well as his beloved friends and opulent kingdom. 
children all that he was able to give up and he gave up how he did not even turn back just like nobody you know after passing nature's call doesn't turn back to see <laughs> malavart okay next quality is uh, naam man shunyata sarvottam apana ke hina kari mane Although a pure devotee standard is above all, sarvatam, the sarvatam, he still considers himself to be the lowest state of life. Nina Karima. <laughs> this is the scriptural reference from uh, Padmi Puran. Haroratim Vahanesha Narendra Nam Shikamani Viksham Atam Haripure Swapakam Api Vandate. Maharaj Bharat. This is speaking about the same Maharaj Bharat pastime, which is there also in the Padma Puran. Maharaj Bharat always carried affection for Krishna within his heart. Haro Ratim Vahan Esha. Although Maharaj Bharat was the crown jewel of kings, Narendra Nam Shikamani, he was still wondering about and begging arms in the city of his Viksham Patan Ari Pure. Pure is Puri, city, Ari, the Kingdom of his enemies, so much he was, you know, Ajata Shatru. He had attained that stage. He was even offering respects to Chandalas, low class men who eat dogs. So, Pakam, Api, Vandati. So, you know, Manishunyata, Amanina, Manadeva. This quality is come to him. Next. Any questions you have, you can always raise your hand. Krishna Kripa Kari Ben Drida Kari Jane. A fully surrendered devotee always hopes that Lord Krishna will be kind to him. This hope is very firm in Drida Kari Jane. Now, this is a beautiful uh, verse from the Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu. Let us decide this. Na Prima Shavana di Bhakti Rakova Yogo Atova Vaishnava. ओमाय लॉर्ड I do not have any love for you, na prema, nor am qualified for discharging devotional service by chanting and hearing. Shravanadi bhakti rapi va. Nor do I possess the mystic power of a Vaishnava. Yogo athava Vaishnava. Knowledge or pious activity, jnanam va shubh karma va. Nor do I belong to a very high caste. Finally, a whole such jatir api astiva. On the whole, I do not possess anything. Still, O oh beloved of the gopis, hey gopi janavallava, because you bestow your mercy on the most fallen. Hini na artha adhika sadake tvayi patapya. I have unbreakable hope. Mad asha iva ma ha ha that. Is constantly in my heart. That hope is always giving me pain. Achheda Mula Sati. This is from the Bhakti Rasamrath. So, this is a very beautiful verse. Asha Baddha. How the devotee is Asha Baddha. So, next, now let us go to the next sixth quality that is Sabukanta. 
for a sadar lamsa pradhan. This evenness is chiefly characterized by an ardent desire to associate with the Lord. How in our sadhaka state we can best associate with the Lord? Anyone can say? What is the best way we can associate with the Lord in our sadhana stage? In our practice of devotional life? What is the best way? One hand has been raised. Two. Okay. What's that, Guruji? Chanting. Yes. Chanting. So, the more you are chanting, the more you are associating with the Lord. <laughs> now, I want the devotees to speculate and try to understand this meaning of sam ut kanta. So, sam ut and kanta. So, this three together make sam ut kanta. So, who will explain what this is? The, what is the meaning of sam ut kanta? Anyone? Yeah. Somebody raise his hand. What does Samut Kanta mean also? Of course, even us there, but how it is, how you can uh, figuratively explain it. Samut Kanta. Anyone would like to try? You can try. There is no harm in trying. Okay, two hands are again. Arjuna Mataji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji Dandavat Pran. It's just a, a simple logic I'm using. Uh, Uth means above, Uthan we use, and Kanta means curiosity. Kanta means? Uh, Utkanta means curiosity, or uh, Kanta no. maybe. What did Kanta mean you say? Uh, curiosity. Kanta. Uh, Kantastha we use so maybe your neck or something. Pardon? Kantastha. Nah, you the kant we yeah, but how, how do you do? Uh, we learn the shlokas. Yeah, but how, how do you do? How do you learn the shlokas? Why? What? what repeatedly. Repeatedly. What is, Kanta. Kanta. Uh, Kanta means what? Your swarayanta or maybe neek or... You are not able to get it. <laughs> Kanta means what? What is this? Yeah, your neek or swarayanta. Oh, throat. throat. Kanta is throat? Yes. Now what is... Ut and Sam Ut Kanta. No problem. Okay, okay. Very, very other You know this. You have heard this before, maybe. Yes, but still, you would like to hear that. Arikshan Pro Dhanatna. Kanta, it is basically very ardent. Uh, it's a uh, Great eagerness, bro. very keen to. Uh... We already have arrived at the meaning of Kanta. Kanta means throat. So, Sam Ut Kanta. Samyak Rupen Ut Kanta, bro. Ah, so, Samyak is okay, correct. Then, what is Ut? Ut means uh, 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 Ut means. Uh, 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 going up. Utishna means what? Utishna means what? Uh, rising up. Ah, yeah. Rising. What is Utkanta then? Kanta means uh, then basically we are. Yeah, why did we order audio? We are raising the bias to ah. call the Lord. Pardon? We are raising our voice to call the Lord. Raising our voice. That's very interesting interpretation. Yeah. So, Kanta means the throat. Put means up. 
and some some means some rupena the utkanta eagerness to have the darshan of the lord you know you are very eager to have the darshan so your throat is raised up utkanta and the eagerness in the heart is so deep that you are very eager and completely eager some rupena utkanta that is utkanta so that is also the, the figurative meaning of utkanta eagerness so i explained eagerness you know what you can uh, physically visualize i remember many years back i was uh, in the mayapur uh, chandradaya mandir uh, in the mangalarti time having darshan during the mangalarti of radha mother and then we all turned to uh, narsim dev the narsimha temple opened and narsim pranandi was sung and there was a lot of rush you know in mayapur and you know i was just uh, in one standing in one corner very close you know to the dds but uh, uh, taking shelter of a pillar i was just standing and taking darshan just normal darshan i was taking but i saw a very very elevated sanyasi he just did not you know uh, make his presence known to others because he is very well known sanyasi in the entire so moment they come to know he is there everyone will move aside and offer dandavas there but he did not make his presence known also he just some of sneaking he came on and just right in next to me he stood and the eagerness with which he was having darshan my goodness i could understand this is samut kanta the way he was you know uh, raising his neck up and you know throat up put kanta and you know the eagerness he was having a darshan so that is kanta <laughs> so that is uh, what is the meaning of put kanta i hope you, you got it okay so let us see the scriptural reference for utkanta okay there is one question uh, yes prabhu ji narikshna ko dano from apro from previous slides i have just small question yeah asha bad no 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 uh, before this before this apne ki karimani mera Uh, this one to uh, verse uh, verse twenty nine verse twenty nine to yeah verse twenty nine is na prem na yes so this translation last line to mm-hmm. that hope is always giving me pain this uh, line I'm not understanding oh. this last line this pain is not uh, not like any material pain which uh, we feel because of the material miseries because the bhava bhakta doesn't have any material miseries but uh, this is more uh, you know uh, the mood of a devotee he is pained at heart uh, because uh, he is feeling separation from the lord he is not able to have the darshan of the lord like it is mentioned paritranaya sadunam vinashaya cha dushtam so the lord comes for two reasons paritranaya sadhana and vinashaya chatushtika dushtika means to annihilate the demons so although these two reasons are mentioned in the gita by the lord but the acharya is explaining that you know to kill the demons the lord may not come by his own you know energies his extended energies he can do that but paritrana paritrana here also means the pain uh the devotees are feeling in their heart uh, because they want to have the darshan of the lord so that pain uh, to mitigate that pain krishna comes you know actually in this word so similarly you know uh, uh the pain uh, of not having the darshan of the lord uh, that uh, you know that kind of feeling is being expressed here in this verse This is my little bit understanding about it. Okay. Got the point. Thank you. 
Any other questions? Anyone else? Okay, so we are now on uh, uh, verse Samutkanta uh, scriptural reference. This is from Krishna Karnamber. What? Chaiva sam tribuvanatutam ittavehi machapalam chattava va mama vadi pamyam tatkim karomi virilam murali vilasi mudham mukham mukham bujam udikshitam ikshan va uksha ikshana. Yeah. O Krishna, O Fluid Player, Murli, Vilasi, the sweetness of, of your early age is wonderful within these three words. What? Chaivasam, Tri Bhuvana Adbhutam Ittyaveva. You know my unsteadiness, Machapalam, <laughs> and I know yours. Chartavama. Now, what is Bilma Mandavi Thakur saying here? Anyone can simply guess? <laughs> Anyone can guess? Any raise hands? What is Bilma Mandavi mean saying here? Something very heavy. And did you note it? Or no? What is he saying? Anyone? He is saying, Machapalam cha tavama. You know my unsteadiness and I know yours. What does that mean? Yes, Parsati Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Dandar, Pranam, Sroje, I will try. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Maya is very strong, so uh, we mm -hmm. get. Uh, oh, Prabhu. Yes. Krishna, Krishna, for Krishna, there is Maya, what? Uh, no, no, Maya, I'm just telling you, saying that we get. Uh, uh, we get uh, One minute. Uh, mm -hmm. One minute. For Krishna, is there any Maya? No. For wherever Krishna is there, there is no Maya. No, just a minute. Secondly, a Bhava Bhakta, you know, Maya cannot touch him. Says. So for a Bhava Bhakta also, there is no Maya. Just think about this statement. What is Bhava Mughal Taku trying to say? You know my unsteadiness and I know yours. Bhava Mughal Taku is saying, please think about it. It's very simple. <laughs> Yes, sir, Shana uh, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the meaning is like uh, a pure uh, devotee is equal to meet God and equally God is also equal to meet his exalted devotee. But yes, that's also true. And that's why he is unsteady. But the Lohamangal Thakur is saying that Krishna, you are also unsteady. You, you, how can Krishna be unsteady? That's the problem. That's my question. Calling <laughs> Krishna is your unsteady. So Krishna is also dhira and adhira also. He becomes unsteady in the presence of Srimati Radharani. <laughs> Krishna also becomes adhira in one sense. So uh, basically, uh, the idea here is. That uh, you know there are material emotions which cause unsteadiness, and by practicing regulated devotional service and coming to bhava bhakti, then there is a different stage of life when there is spiritual unsteadiness. We get spiritually agitated to meet the Lord. <clears throat> Here we get materially agitated because of sense objects. But you know, there is a material commotion which happens. There is a spiritual commotion also in the ocean of Bhakti Ras. So Bilma Mughal Thakur has become unsteady. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's agitated uh, for seeing the Lord. 
and Krishna also gets agitated. Or seeing rather than So Krishna is also unsteady. So that's why he's saying, I, you know my unsteadiness and I know yours. <laughs> Below Mughal like to say, I know your unsteadiness. <laughs> No one else knows about this. <laughs> no one else knows, he says. Ma chapla cha tava va mama va dipamya. I want to see your beautiful, attractive face. Mukha ambujam dikshitam iksha apyan. Somewhere in a solitary place. But how can this be accomplished? So these are very, very exalted transcendental play, uh, prayers by Bilma Mangal Thakur, which we can't even think about. And that's why especially works like uh, Krishna Tarnamra uh, should be not studied by sadhakas as long as one is not liberated and on the Bhava platform. Uh, it is not recommended. Especially the literatures are now easily available even in this one because they are all translated. But we should see whether we have the adhikar to study them. Just because we are 10th uh, standard going, studying in the school, it doesn't mean that we can, we have access to library and there are PhD mathematics books. Even if you refer, you cannot understand. So that's why Krishna Karnamdhat is not recommended until one is an uttam adhikari to study. Okay. The next quality is Name Gane Sadaruchi Loy Krishna. Due to having great relish for the holy name, one is inclined to chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra constantly. This is the symptom of a Bhava Bhakta. Rodana Bindu Maranda Maranda Styandi Rikindi Varadya Govinda. Tava Madura Swara Kanti Tayanti Nama Valim Bala Bala O Govinda Govinda This youthful girl named Radhika Bala Bala is Radhika is today constantly pouring forth tears like nectar falling from flowers Rodana Bindu Marang Swandi as she sings your holy names in sweet voice. Drink in the Varadya Govinda. Tama Madhura Swara Kanti. Gayanti Namavali. So Nami Gane Sada. Manchi, this is the reference given again from Bhakti Rasambha Siddha. Okay. Now, eighth quality. Krishna Guna Akhyane Hai Sarvada Akhyane. At this stage of Baba, devotee has awakened the tendency to chant and describe the transcendental qualities of the Lord. He has attachment for this process. I have a very uh, good devotee friend here who chants every day 128 rounds. Every day he does Parikrama of Vrindavan and attends all the temple programs. Very early morning he gets up and before 7 he almost finishes with 64 rounds. Then during the day, in breaks, he does his uh, remaining 128 rounds. I have an experience. Every time I meet him, he is always narrating Krishna Katha. Krishna Duna Akhyan hai Sarvada He doesn't speak any other topic except Krishna Katha. No other topic disturbs him. <laughs> so this is one of the qualities of one who is on the stage of Asam. Well, this is the scriptural reference given again from Krishna Karnanda. Maduram Maduram Vapurasya Vibhu Maduram Maduram Vadanam Maduram Madugandi Vrudu Smitam Etad Aho Maduram 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 Oh my Lord, the transcendental body of Krishna is very sweet. Vapurasya Vibhu Maduram His face is even sweeter than his body. Maduram Maduram Vadanam Maduram but a soft smile, Madhu Gaddi, Madhu Smitam, Etadaho, which has a fragrance of honey, is very sweet. This is from Bilal Adam Tapu. Nine quality. Krishna Lila Sane Kare Sarvada Vasati. A devotee absorbed in ecstatic emotion for Krishna always resides in a place where Krishna's pastimes were 
the power number. Now again, the reference to the quotation is from the Kirtanvasi. Gadaham yamuna tire namani tavakirtayan udhas kundrika kundrikaksha rajayashya mitandavam. Oh Lord Kundrikaksha, while chanting the holy name with tears in my eyes, namani tavakirtayan udhas nodam. When shall I dance in ecstasy? Tandavam Racheshyami on the banks of Yamuna. Tadaham Yamuna Hiray. When I will be at the banks of Yamuna chanting the names, dancing in ecstasy. This is the verse from Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu. I think Narada is speaking this verse. That's why I read There is a second scriptural quotation given from the Bhagavatam for this. So we have finished, uh, yeah, right. we have finished all the nine symptoms with the scripture quotations. Text 38. Krishna Rati Rachinna E Kailoro Vivarna Krishna Prima Rachinna Eva Shuna Sanatan. These are the symptoms of person who has developed attraction, bhava for Krishna. Now let me describe the symptoms of person who has actually elevated the love for it. Oh, Sanatan, please hear this from me. So from the next verse onwards, symptoms of a devotee of the day, prema, prema bhakti. Prema the definition was already given. The symptoms will be given from this series onwards. Okay. Uh, we have few minutes, but any questions anyone has? Any questions, any clarifications after now? The nine symptoms of our body. Okay, among the nine qualities, I have a question for you all. Among the nine qualities, uh, some symptoms, you know, require deeper, uh, you know, observation and perception. But there is one symptom which we can observe and conclude that, oh, this is a symptom of a bhakti. Which is which should be most prominent in the Bhagavata? Which is that symptom among the nine? I'll show you the verse if you want. Like, you know, free from bhakti and mukti, you know, you cannot go in somebody's heart and see. <laughs> Whereas the detachment also is sometimes very difficult to find out. Asha Bandha game, it is internal hope, hope in the heart. Samukhanta also very uh, difficult. To recognize symptoms. There are there is one symptom, of course, there are many others also. You can put uh, some number in, but at least which is the topmost we should see for the symptom externally to understand uh, the quality of the power of that. Yes, Narada Mataji. Excellent. If you can see in a person that he doesn't waste even a moment without doing service to Krishna or without uh, you know, doing activity of Krishna consciousness or thinking about Krishna. Which, will, which is the other, other one which you can uh, you know, uh, recognize? Which are the other ones? Anyone else? Yes, Sunita Mataji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Namagane Sadaruchi. Namagane Sadaruchi. Of course, one can do a lot of chanting, but if it is infected with Aparad, that also we cannot understand. Sometimes many devotees chant a lot of rounds, but 
progress is very slow sometimes. But of course, uh, we should see this symptom also. But Abhyartha Kalakum is also important because if he's engaging in other useless talk, Prajal and all, then, but yes, Namakani, then, which is the other one? Yes, Anuradha Mataji. Pritisthad Vasatisthale. Oh, well, if he doesn't have an uh, opportunity to stay in Vrindavan, he's somewhere, some other temple abroad, what to do? Asakti Tar Gunakyani, the third one. These three we should see. Now, we are just practicing devotees, we are trying to practice Ananya Bhakti. And we don't know in what stage we are. I don't know, I cannot speak about others, but for myself. But uh, we should, uh, you know, although these symptoms automatically manifest in the Bhava Bhakta, but uh, we should try to, you know, actually inculcate uh, these three important aspects of Vyartha Kalakam, Namegane Sadaruchi, and Asakti Tad Gunakhyan, these three. These three, we should work on it, especially of Vyartha Kalakam, not to waste a single moment without any activity in the subconscious. Or without remembering. So we should start working on these and uh, uh, work on our chanting attentive rounds and work on more preaching Krishna consciousness. So these three we need to work on. Okay. So any questions, any clarification anyone has? Okay then, so we will stop for now and the next class we will begin uh, the next theme that is uh, the symptoms of one who is on Premodakti. What are the symptoms of one who is on the platform of Premodakti? Now after this, uh, it is going to be a little technical and philosophical, but uh, we will through flowcharts try to explain that and uh, kindly stay tuned for that. It's very important uh, because Bhakti Rasam is Sindhu, practically uh, southern division and even a glimpse of the uh, western and the northern divisions is going to be discussed. And uh, we will be starting this series soon. Bhakti Rasam is Sindhu, southern division. For those who have studied Nectar Division, for those who have finished Bhakti uh, Shastri, then it will become more important for us. So we will be discussing that uh, in our coming uh, classes. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada ki jai. Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami ki jai. Shri Chaitanya Charitamra ki jai. Hare Krishna.